Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new here, please welcome and please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you supporting my channel. And yeah, so in this video, we are talking all about how to train with treats and not overfeed your dog. When I am going into someone's home for the first time, one of the questions I undoubtedly get asked pretty much for every single person is how am I going to train and give my dog all these treats and not overfeed them? Like they're not going to get fat. They're not going to be overweight. I will often get people telling me that their vet says that their pet is overweight, their dog is overweight and they need to cut back. So they can't use treats to train. And so I, in this video, I want to give you a couple different options here. Okay. So every dog is different, right? And every training program is going to be just a touch different because every dog is different. Now, the first thing I want to say is that we can use their regular food to train with. It's not always going to be the best thing to train with because we do often, depending on what you're training, want to use something higher value than whatever it is you're regularly feeding your dog, especially if you're feeding them a kibble diet, um, which I'm not even going to get into this in this video about feeding kibble, but we, we often will want to use a hierarchy of rewards and we know what is going to be the highest value, the lowest value, and, and what lies there in between. That's not always going to be your 100%. We're always going to use their regular food to train. However, it is a really good starting point, especially for those people who are just so scared of overfeeding their dog. One of the best things you can do, start out by using their regular food to train. Don't feed them out of a bowl any longer. We are going to use their food and take their meal time. And instead of feeding them out of a bowl, and then expecting them to value us, we're gonna use that food to bring the value to us and train with their food. So we're gonna interact with our dog with their food. Not everybody is going to be completely comfortable doing this, or, or maybe you're only going to be comfortable using part of their food to train, and that is totally fine. Use as much of their food as you would like in their training, and then you can feed them the rest if there's anything left over. But Again, we often want to use higher value rewards, whether that is something like the Vital Essentials uh, line, which I love. This particular bag is turkey giblets. Um, they have chicken hearts, they have minnows, they have beef nibs, duck nibs, they have rabbit nibs, they have all kinds of stuff and I love them uh, because they are freeze dried raw. Uh, whether you're using cheese or maybe cut up pieces of boiled chicken, whatever it is you're using, whatever it is you have found that your dog loves over everything else, we want to use that right? We want to take that and say, I know that this is something that you have a really high value on. And so I'm going to, to use that to shape behaviors that I want. So what we can do in this instance is you still use these treats as training rewards. If you're buying treats that are, that come in a bag like this, they're going to tell you what the calories are. So for this one, you've got 110 kilocalories per ounce. This is a two ounce bag. So 110 calories would be half of this bag, which is almost empty as you can see <laughs> in the video, but that's a lot. Using half of this bag would be a lot of training. So if you know that your dog eats 345 calories a day, even if you were to feed them half of this bag a day in training, which is a lot, let me get that out. That is a lot. Um, I generally only recommend training with your dog 10 to 15 minutes at a time, once or twice a day, sometimes three times a day. And you really shouldn't be using that many treats. For this example, assume that you're using half of this bag, a whole ounce in a training session or in a day, day's worth of training. You're, you'll take the 345 calories that you would normally feed your dog in a day, subtract the 110 calories that you're feeding in treats, and then you would feed 245 calories. Now, for me, I don't like doing all that math. I don't like weighing everything out. And it's, it's easy to see over the course of a week if your dog is losing weight or gaining weight, right? You can just adjust the quantity of what you're feeding your dog to deduct the calories that you're feeding in treats. Now, 
that can get really complicated, especially when we're talking about keeping their food balance. This is gonna be a lot easier for you to do if you feed, if you put together your own DIY food for your dog that is completely balanced, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do. But what we wanna do is balance over time and continue to balance what you're feeding your dog. But when we're training, that's another reason why it's gonna be really great to use their food in training. That way you know they're getting the balanced nutrition that they need, especially, especially if they're a puppy. You definitely wanna be very, very, very uh, aware of the balance that you're feeding your dog. Uh, because you want to make sure that they grow properly. Um, but again, this video could get hours long if we go down all of these paths. So I just wanted to briefly go over. Um, it is totally possible to train with rewards, with treats, and not overfeed your dog. We just need to be paying attention to our dog's physique over the course of a week or two weeks. Are they gaining weight? Then we need to cut back right? Are they losing weight? Then, hmm, okay, maybe let's cut back on some of the treats and use some of their balanced food as rewards in their training. So let's pay really close attention to our dogs and not overfeed. That is not the goal. The goal here is to feed just what your dog needs enough to thrive, right? Proper balanced nutrition to thrive, but not overfeed. So we can definitely use the regular food as part of our training routine so that we are not overfeeding our dog. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you made it all the way through, please give this video a big thumbs up and join Pet Parent Nation. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Go ahead, do it right now. Hit the subscribe button, join Pet Parent Nation. When you hit subscribe, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here. Do leave me a comment down below right now. I'll wait. Okay, so my silly little dance there. I hope you did leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know how I can help you. Let me know if you need me to do a video on another topic. I would really appreciate your comments down below and liking this video and subscribing because it all helps my channel grow. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.